Hi, this is Tim, and today I want to talk a little bit about input filters. And this is mainly due to the MicroLogix high-speed counter configuration. Um, I don't know how many times I've done this. Uh, I, you know, configure the function file, I forget to lower those input filters, and then it only halfway works. This is also the most common question I get about why someone can't get their high-speed counter to work. So I wanted to go ahead and explain what happens when you don't have your input filter set right so hopefully you'll be able to realize it and fix it pretty quickly so i already have this program set up now i'm not going to go through how i configured this i have a video on it i'll put a link to it in the description but mainly we have our encoder simulator wired up so if we hit our direction button the encoder starts changing directions uh, we can change our frequency up to 10 kilohertz and between 10 hertz and 10 kilohertz, we're going to see a difference in how the MicroLogix operates when these input filters are set wrong. So this is from a previous video. We already have a rate set up here. And right now we're going roughly 10,000 hertz. And that's exactly what it should be doing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stop this. And we'll go ahead and set it back to 10 hertz for our next test. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go offline. So we'll go ahead and save this program just as it is. And then we're going to go offline. And then we're going to go to our I.O. configuration. And we're going to double click slot zero. And this is something that you almost never have to go to except for this high speed counter configuration. That's why it's missed so often. But right here, I've already lowered these input filters to their lowest level. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these back at their default. We'll hit apply and let's go ahead and download this program. All right, so now our rate is zero because we are not going and we're going to go ahead and put it in the forward direction and we're running 10 hertz just like we should be. Now we're going to go up to 100 hertz. But you see, now our PLC did not go up to 100 hertz. It's actually showing mostly zero. It's occasionally bouncing around. And that is because that input filter setting. What that input filter setting is for is really to eliminate noise. And it's hard to tell the difference between our high speed counter pulses and a little ripple of noise and so it's filtering out our pulses and so now let's go let's play with this a little bit let's go back offline and go back to our io configuration slot zero in the embedded io configuration now i believe the default is actually eight milliseconds i couldn't find that for sure but let's put it at one millisecond. We'll go ahead and download that program. Go back to run mode. And now we're showing 100 hertz just as we should. So let's go to a thousand hertz. And now we have the same problem again. With the 100 hertz, those pulses were able to get in. Well, now we're at 1,000 hertz. It can't distinguish the difference between them and noise. So let's lower them a little bit more. Go offline. And we'll go back to the I.O. configuration again. Let's go to that embedded I.O. configuration. So we're at one millisecond now. Let's put it at 100 microseconds. So Milliseconds are thousands of a second. Microseconds are like smaller. And we'll download that. Go back to run mode. And now we're showing pulses at a thousand hertz, which is what we should be showing. So now let's go to 10,000 hertz, which is 10,000 pulses per second. It's a lot of pulses going through there. And now look, we're dropping back down to 11 pulses. And this is what I see. People are calling and they're like, hey, this worked 
when we were running it slow, but as we start ramping it up, we're having trouble. Well, this is why it is this input filter here. Your input filters have to be low enough to let these pulses get through. Now for me, I always go with the lowest input filter on the high speed counter and make sure I use the best wiring practices to keep noise out. You may do the math and figure out that you could get away with a certain one, but I like to go with the lowest one. So we'll go back one more time to our IO configuration. Slot zero, embedded IO, and I usually set these at the 12 and a half microseconds. We'll download that. There you go. Now we're showing roughly 10,000 pulses per second, just like we should. So I hope that helps you understand why those input filters have to be lowered for a high speed application. Maybe we'll do another video on the flip side of that. It kind of be neat to do an experiment and how much noise can it handle at the lower filter? And you know, we can raise it up and see the other side of this. So like this video if you liked it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Till next time.